Here we have the famous sun sculpture. And this is definitely one of those cases of Instagram versus reality because it's a very cloudy day late in the afternoon and uh, there's a queue of people to get their picture taken in front of it. The Reykjavik Opera House. Where are we at, baby? We're in Iceland, baby. <laughs> We're at the Gullfoss waterfall, which is at the top of the Golden Circle. And it's rainy and wet and beautiful. <laughs> Heading up to our first Hot, Hot springs, springs. Yeah. public baths, yeah. geyser heated baths. This is a little tiny rural one, only holds 30 people. This is actually one of the small local pools versus one of the big public pools. It only holds about 30 people. And Linda's afraid to stand up, but I'm not. So this is the Stong Viking settlement that dates back until at least 1100 and was not occupied after a volcano nearby. And then it was reoccupied after that and then discontinued use at some point. And this is one of eight. The other ones were reburied for future archeological evidence, but um, there's the main room. And then further out there is the living room. Not exactly sure what that means, but um, that's what they perceive it as. And then they built this really wonderful shelter over here in here to protect it and let us look at it. And this is this is pretty cool. This is Gajane, G J I N. We hear all sorts of stories about Icelandic trolls, and that's where they live.
we're at the High Foss Waterfall, which is the third largest waterfall, third highest, third highest large uh, waterfall, and um, we're here for the excellent <laughs> view. So I think it, this is one of those uh, welcome to Iceland baby things, right? <laughs> But this is the day we're here, so this is what we see, and we're gonna go down, I guess, and see what we do see. The Steinem Cave, pretty cool. I didn't need the flash. So this was one of the, this is the site of the actual big volcano that went off in 2010, and this farm survived it. Um, you can't see the caldera here in this because of the clouds, but we're grateful to have sunshine. And then, interesting, all of this land was covered in, I think they said two feet of ash. He's a pretty good girl who has rhubarb pie. There's the barn. That's exactly where we are right now. Amazing. These are the old houses into the rock here. There's several of them. Right, literally built into the rock. I'd love to go inside, but you're not supposed to.
call this the church floor, but they're naturally occurring basalt columns that have just been weathered down. And one of these is not a hexagon, which is the traditional side, but is a decadon, 10 sides. Did you find it? I don't know. Let's just go see. Uh, so the ten-sided one is going to look more round. Right. Your stuff 